Hey folks, hope you're doing good today, having a good weekend and all that. Now we've got an extra show to do this weekend because uh, I missed one show this week, so we've still got some stuff to do. Now this one came through from actually my friend. Uh, it's his favourite band to listen to at the moment. I haven't heard of them before uh, and he keeps going on about them and saying how good they are. Uh, so I said, so send me over some tracks to listen to. He goes, I'll do it as a submission. Uh, so what he's done today, he's sent over two of their tracks. This band is called Gaulhammer. You may have heard of this band before. If you like this kind of music, I think they are a name you will have heard of before, uh, but I hadn't come across them before. Um, so Basically, I read up on their wiki page just to get a, you know get to know the band a bit more that way. Uh, and it turns out that they were a three-piece band, uh, made some albums, and then unfortunately one of the band members left, and the band is basically on hiatus at the moment. They're on hold, uh, but maybe they'll make some more stuff in the future, but they're just a two-piece at the moment. Um, and they made some albums, and they got three, maybe four albums, and a bunch of videos to go with it as well. Uh, and the track that he sent through for me, I did complain. I said, look, man, the... Uh, the because it was a live show, the the audio wasn't really good enough for us to listen to. I thought, man, we surely we can do better than that. So what he's done for us today is actually done a video of the live show, but with the album audio, which is something I really like to do. Anyway, so I'm going to check this out today. We're going to check out two tracks. Uh, the first track, I'm pretty sure, is off their first album, and then the second track is off their second album. So we'll get a bit of a flavour of what was going on with them. Very cool. Let's give it a spin. This first one is called Tomorai, May Our Father Die.
I think that's the end of that one. So I'll just pause it there and have a quick chat about it. Really enjoyed this one. They, they, this band is a crusty, blackened doom band, so don't expect super high quality sound and all the rest of it. Uh, it's meant to be rough and dirty sounding, and they definitely captured the rawness that you want from this kind of music. The room sound, the rawness on the drums and stuff like that, the rawness on the vocal, you know, it wasn't all EQ'd and quantized and messed about with like it is nowadays with all the digital doors and stuff uh this i think this stuff i can't remember when these their first album came out but i think it was early 2000s time um so you know this is kind of getting older now and i like it that it's got this rawness to it it sounds authentic for this kind of music that it is very cool love the sound of the symbols as well in this one that ride just cut through nicely gave that vibe in section just a good king in ride uh, section to go with it sounded really cool and just a dark nasty black and vibe to it the double layer of vocal sounds cool and they're really just like into the mic dope loved it so let's check out this next track this one is called at the onset of the age of despair cool name hasn't quite got the power of the last one. The bass and the guitars really came through hard in the last one. A bit more muffly on this mix. Good bass tone though. as well which is cool because the cymbals and stuff aren't ringing through quite as much in this one. Can't hear all that clattering quite as much. Had a real nice clarity in the first mix. The 
bass sounds great in this one. takes over the guitar in terms of leading the band. Very cool. as well. Nice. Well, a different vibe to this one. And that's why I like checking out a couple of tracks from new bands, see what they're all about, especially if they've got a couple of albums out as well. And we can listen to one off each one of those. Very cool. This one had a different vibe, in my opinion, to the first track that we listened to. Less kind of crusty and raw, although it was still very raw, but way more atmospheric uh, and kind of almost had a progressive edge to it. Uh, the way the vocals were sat back in the mix way more on this one as well. It seemed less angry, this second track, more spaced out and vibey rather than angry and kind of stabbing, uh, which the first track had a bit more of. 
Uh, I must admit, I think I prefer their, their their original sound because it just seemed to be a bit more powerful and direct, which is strange coming from me because I am normally an, an atmospheric type of guy and I love a buried vocal and stuff like that. But just no personally listening to that today. I like I like really like the sound of the first one because the cymbals came through with a clarity, but with a rawness as well. You could tell it hadn't really been a lot messed about with. It was just mixed and mastered, you know, it hadn't been EQ'd within an inch of its life and all stuff like that. And definitely the second track hadn't either. Uh, probably even less so. But I like the fact that you could still hear the rawness and the different elements of the band more so in the first track where it's the second track because it was more atmospheric more reverby and the vocal was way more buried it kind of blended in together a bit more uh, although the bass in the second track i would say they definitely had a step up with that adding the distortion adding the fuzz to it and it being loud in the mix as well just meant that it could drive the music because of the way the guitars were in the second track, just lots of open strumming and stuff like that to create a vibe and an atmosphere. I really like how then the bass took the lead along with the drums and said, right, we're pushing the track forward from here on. It's not a guitar riff that's, that's leading the, the sound. It's the bass. They started going further and further at the neck, doing the scale and everything else really worked nicely. Not a lot of bands actually do that. Not enough bands, in my opinion, do that where the guitar kind of sits back a little bit and not isn't the lead anymore and then the bass comes forward instead uh, and fills that space i think it's a really really cool way to make music and more people need to kind of get their head around doing it as well very very nice so cool band to check out for a saturday sludgy crusty black and doomy music with an atmospheric and a spacey edge to it as well very very cool uh hopefully this band as they are say they are on hiatus at the moment if they ever get back together and put out a video we'll be spinning it on this channel to get back to know this band and see what they're doing with their latest stuff so there you go hope you have a good weekend guys we'll be back for the monday grind we'll see you then cheers bye <laughs>